Hey guys, welcome to the Code 5 YouTube channel. A good friend of ours, Papa Allah, requested that Code 5 Gaming try a newer horror game to Xbox. Grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and join us for part one of Layers of Fear. Oh, we're gonna get in real nice and cozy with this game tonight. Well, that changed up the sound effects. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Cheesecake? Finish it. Oh. All right, nice dark stormy night. Now I'm game for this. Oh, what do we have here? Well, hmm. Ooh, journals. Journals have stuff. Journals don't have stuff. Sad face. Wanted a. How do I? Ah, there we go. Okay, hold with right trigger, move with right stick, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get spooky. Oh, there's that music again, I love it. Love what you've done with the place here. It's nice. Ooh, cigars. May I? I may not. Sad face. Note. A clue, Sherlock. Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. Sounds like me. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of rodent infestation of any kind. And as such, decided not to act further on the philosophic, oh, prophylactic spraying. Please treat this letter as a final warning or else the next envelope you'll receive. Lady, I am trying to read to the chat right now. Ugh. The next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With best regard, Carl Denton. Pesky Pest... Pesky Pests Pacification Company. Well, alright. I guess I call pest control a lot. Ooh. I hope everybody's cozy out there. Ooh. Dominoes, anybody? Anybody want to teach me how to play dominoes? I do not know how. More cigars. Nice. I don't know if this is my house or not, by the way. So I could just be a stranger that walked into somebody's house. Because if I was home right now with expensive cigars, I would be smoking a, an expensive cigar. Ooh. I must not like that guy. It looks like there's blood on it. I wonder if I push the button really hard, if I can, like, slam it. Yeah. Guess not. 
Ooh. Bourbon. Because if you didn't have enough hair in odd places, bourbon. Stuff. I had a dog. Mug. Oh, okay. It's the address. His name was. Pop Peel? Yeah. Ninety percent of players. Let's be in that ten percent, ladies and gentlemen. What do you say? Somebody fuck up my drapes. <sighs> the service here. Okay, looks like we got kitchen. Can, ooh, can I can I start a nice ambiance of fire? Oh wait, you guys hear my footsteps? I think I have a limp. Ooh. An artist triumphs. Gallery opening wows critics. Some call him the new guy. Others compare him to Van Eyck, and one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke the spirit of great Leonardo. Any way you slut. Do you hate when you're trying to read to people and thunder and shit goes off? Any way you like to slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influence and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of a beautiful fiancé, looking stunning in her black gown. Yada yada. Wow, that's loud. Ooh. Blood on the floor? Mm. Uh, I've stepped in it. Ooh, a note. Figured to be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet Evan, even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and shoved his head off a little rest with the rest of us common folk. I know. In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. <laughs> the whole crew tells me that all the time. Can I? Yeah, move the door. Oh, I hope I didn't lock myself in. What do we got? Rolling pin, knife. Ooh, another note. Sorry if I have to read to you guys a lot during this. Purple, I'm gonna look for some sandwiches. You, you best believe I'm looking for sandwiches. Dude, what the hell happened in my kitchen? Ooh. Pantry. Hmm. Nada. No jalapenos? Ooh, what are... That doesn't look healthy. Alright, let's get out of here before I get locked in my own pantry. Hmm. There's a note on this door. Let's go see what the note says. Spattered with paint and all. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Yeah, okay. I'm sure my office is down here. In the dark. Ominous. Shit I never unpacked. Hello? I think there's rats in my wall. Hmm. <gasps> Did somebody break one of my paintings? You. Damn rats. Some sweet glasses. Must have been an old bear. 
so hard to find good glasses. Report card. I did... Not so great. I did decent, I guess. Did I pass? Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Can I... Can I play it? Oh, you can turn things around. Okay. I'll try using the other joystick, dumbass. Moving on. Alright, what's in here? Uh, rude! Alright. Back upstairs, guys. I'm missing something. Hmm. Yeah, I'll leave the door open. Why not? What do we have in here? Ooh! Oh! Oh, son of a... Really? Nah. Can I... Light switch? Oh, there we go. I... <gasps> I'm a vampire! Solved the whole game right there, guys. Absolute... Can... Well, at least I know that works. Oh, another note. Maybe. Ah, that makes sense of why I'm hobbling around. I have a prosthesis. Well, hello. It's my Uncle Bill. That's the time I decided I didn't want to go to the Grand Canyon and I painted it with an archangel. Um, it's my cousins, Phil, Lil, and Tommy. I'm going to end up turning this into an episode of MTV Cribs. Ooh, I have a piano. That's nice. And maybe a drinking problem? Can we play the piano? Ooh. Oh, wow. Way at it. Well, it fucking skews me, then. It's an antique, ladies and gentlemen, so... And I got frustrated during my last lesson, but I didn't catch the instructor on fire. That's the important part. All right, what's next? Excuse me, y'all in here breaking my shit? Don't be in here breaking my shit, baby face furriness. I'm here to tell you, friend, you're like three steps away from being a furry. Ooh. Nice. Keys. I'm looking for keys. Can I not pick up anything out of... Out of here? No? Okay. I'll, I'll get to you, Key. Here we go. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some hard times right now. I really do. That's why I agreed to let you do illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task. Because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please, get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Erickson, Whispered Tale Publishing House. Uh, I... I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I was drunk, it was a party, there was this girl named Sheila. Shit happens. Anyway, key, thank you. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me. Let's make a special. You promised. Oh, wow. That's... That's what... Oh, wow. Um... I... This is not how I remember Little Red Riding Hood. Maybe the Hot Topic version. Alright. Alright. 
Timmy, I said pick up your damn toys, not throw them in the hallway. Well, imagine that. No Timmy. Hell no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We don't do this. Ooh, crayons. I want, can I draw something? Nope. Oh, yeah, more blocks. Great. Um. He does not look very happy. He really does not. You can, yeah, you can stay there. That's not creepy as fuck. Just a, a bowl. Okay. You all... Stay there and... Be good toys. Mm, shake that one off. Dolls. Ugh. Ooh, another note. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Hello? All around, all around, Ooh! It's my jam. Yeah. Prosthetic or not, I'm still dancing. Ooh. What do we got here? The new face of... The new face of music. A night at the opera becomes a night to remember. Blank and blank and blank. Not to be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi-instrumental instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such a passion, energy, and skill in years. Stated famed pianist Daniel Richer, he was not alone in his praise. It seems that even Anthony Giles, one of the blank and blank and blankens critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had a previously made disagreement, disagreeing comments about the artist, stating that there's more to performing music than enthusiasm and a pretty face. When asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said yes. Blah blah blah. Nice. Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disastrous fires at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. A long-awaited opening of the Galactic department store turned into hell on earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building. Having no chance to escape the raging inferno, the exact number of casualties has not been determined. Although it is estimated that dozens of people have been severely injured, the owners of Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. What else we got? Ooh. A ring. More wine. Sorry, I couldn't sleep. The legs have been acting up again. I figured I might as well do some work. Love you. Oh. More books. Now, who the hell's gonna clean this up? So I got a feeling that I'm a divorcee. What? <laughs> Amputee or not, I'm gonna join the NBA. Did you see that reach? Alright, onward to the next one. 
Um. Excuse me? Well, I guess that means we gotta go in there, huh? I guess that means we can't go in there, huh? Yuck. I'm just gonna say for now, that's totally red wine. Why would there- why would there be blood all over the floor? Near there. Right, Uncle Ted? Ah, okay. Okay. This key goes here. Ooh. Um. Excuse me, what? Ooh, so that's the easel from from the beginning. All right, I don't I want to trigger any cutscenes yet. Let's see what we got here. Can I have a cigar now? Please. No, oh, there we. Oh, it's not a cigar. It's paint brushes. Having technical difficulties right now. Okay, fuck those. I still don't have a reflection. Very abstract. I think I like this. What's in here? Dead bodies? Um. Locked? Uh, it's not what it looks like, guys. Okay, it, there's paint in them, I think. Okay, no, I'm an alcoholic. That's what's going on here. I'm an alcoholic. I get it. Thanks for the intermission. Ooh, another note. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We line in the same, we live in the same house. For God's sake, come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. Some creepy shadows. Okay. Fair enough. Um, you deserve it. Finish it. Guess I'm not allowed to read the rest of that. Is there anything in there? No. Um, can I, can I hold a paintbrush, maybe? But this box of them will let me actually, okay, there we go. Okay, but it won't actually let me, okay. Um, hmm. What do you guys think? Just like a little emoji face? Finish it off just right? Okay, um... I have a pretty good memory, and I'm pretty sure this is not what was through this door. Alright. Okay. I can dig it. However, I'm curious about what's on the floor. Oh, the Dorian Gray thing again. I like what they did with the wall here. I'm the idiot who thought that was a door. Oh, there we, there we go. Um, hello? Just out of reach. What's just out of reach? Oh, well, glad to get that fixed. 
Ooh, what's over here? Matches, pipes, a painting. All right. Ooh. Reconnecting with your partner. Rebuild your relationship. Rediscover the journey of marriage. Rekindle the flame. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make let them li this does not make them any less special. It just takes some work. And we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your trouble and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities. This, yeah. Yeah, no. I think it is too late now. Sorry, guys. You can, you can stay there in my junk drawer. Was there a third drawer? Angrily slam door. Oh, oh! Now I can't touch the door. Okay. How's it going? It's either a really big house or I'm fucking lost. Well, okay then. Now I'm. Gonna... Is anybody else slightly convinced I murdered my wife? Anybody? Blood portraits everywhere. Her piano's pissed off at me. Going in circles. I'm trying not to. I'm lost to shit. I'll just stare at this like a crazy man. Anyway. It's paying the damn electric bill around here. Door number two. Oh, okay. Okay. Did that statue just look at me? Hmm. Ooh, what do we have here? Save the date of. Request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday, the 9th of June. Da -da -da. Oh, wait, did my wife leave me for another man? Is that you, Tom Cruise? Oprah? Anyway, I don't think I've seen any any codes around here yet, so I'm going to have to attempt to remember which way to get lost to find you again sometime. Hmm. Ooh, can I... Oh, nice, I can light candle. You, you think you could have toned that down a bit and just, I don't know, written the numbers in... But blood or something? God damn. Eight, five, four. Eight, five, two. Right? Eight, five, oh, four. My bad. You think you could whisper that in my ears while you're at it, assholes? Jen Jenga. The past holds back. Look closer. Oh, wow. A piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? All right, you talk me into it. No. Ah, see? Ah, I knew there was. Never forget. Okay. Don't think I won't be watching you, statue. <gasps> Ooh, a rocking chair. Oh no, no, go ahead. Stay seated, don't get up. <laughs> More pain. Ooh, nope. You've been snooping around my workshop again for the last time. 
You are not allowed in that room, even if the door happens to be open. I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time, you'll have to look for a new job. Oh, because this isn't going to get weird. How's it going, dead creature? Don't mind if I come in here and just look around a bit. Just make... What the abso fucking lootly what in fucking names is that? Oh! Okay then. I don't remember that being in the floor plan when I built the house, but okay. I paint a lot of stuff, don't I? Mm -hmm. Lights come on. Oh! Hello! You know what I really admired when I painted you until you just blew out my fucking eardrums? I'm gonna get you on fire. I'm gonna go find some, some of those... Well, I got a candle here, but I can't interact with it. But as soon as I find some matches I can interact with, you're, you're, um, you're going down. Uh... Now I'm kind of afraid of what I keep down here. Oh. That's pleasant. It was you the whole time, was it? Your baby doll? Yeah, that's what you get. You're never going to be able to play with your baby doll again, asshole. Let's steer clear around that shit. Okay. Look at me all smug and shit. Ah, cabinets. Okay, sorry. Onward with the adventure. I knew it. I knew you'd end up in another room. Stupid statue. Um. What the fuck was that noise? Alright, here we go. New. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, I bet y'all find this really funny, don't ya? Stuff broken. All right, here we go. Long walk down a completely calm hallway. Well, that wasn't very calm of you. Ugh. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Oh, it's just like that. Well, hello. Oh. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> if I could have said that any less creepy, that would have been nice of me. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Poltergeist the door behind me. You're just being really polite. That's how I see it. More broken bottles. Great. Did I just run around one night and break the shit out of some bottles? Is that what happened here? Um. It, um. Y'all, Mickey Mouse just committed suicide in front of me. That's a more pleasant painting. You wouldn't melt in front of me, would you? It's not bad. I was trying to read that, if you do not mind. At least Mickey Mouse can't commit suicide anymore. Oh, hello! It fucking excuse me? Uh, you ruined my painting, you poltergeist little dickhead.
Well, okay then. Thank you, Mr. Poltergeist. Ladies and gentlemen, what are we going to name this very polite poltergeist that keeps closing doors for me? Music box, pendant, ooh. Hey, in regards to your previous letter, I'm sure it's nothing to be too concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby. Hormone imbalances and the like. When we had our first, I remember. Valerie got the blues real bad. I would ask her what she wanted for lunch and she just burst into tears. Just be there for her. And I'm sure it's going to be fine. Now, I know I promise not to rush you by all means. Enjoy your well-deserved time all. But just let me, just to let you know. I'm getting phone calls up in Ying Yang, commissioned left and right. You're a hot ticket, my friend. Maybe we should strike the iron while it's hot. But of course, the family comes first. Your friend, Thomas Caldwell. Han Solo. Butler Solo. That Yep. Butler Ang's Solo. Yeah. <laughs> What a lovely view of somebody else's fucking bricks. Another mirror. I own a lot of the same shit. Y'all notice that? Alright, onward we go. Well, hello. Thank you, Solo. Well... Somebody's crying in there and the door's locked. Oh, the voices well, are back. Oh. It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? Absolutely. I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. I found your brush. Is the door unlocked now? Nope. I'd love to help. But the door's locked. There's a door. Thank you, Butler Solo. Oh, pickles. Should probably be looking on these shelves, shouldn't I? I'm just kind of rushing past things. The glass everywhere. Pickles, canned stuff, charred stuff, stuff. Okay. Hello. Oh man. And somebody left the water on in the bathroom. It got everywhere. Butler Solo, thank you again, sir. You are relentless. First step is the hardest. Oh my god, is this. I think this game is based around all the different levels of grief maybe or acceptance or that's not where I left my kitchen oh yeah is there stuff in here now oh there is that's interesting oh hey Y'all wanna, you want stop fucking around in my kitchen? You don't mind? Okay, good. No baby dolls in the oven, at least. Ooh, my favorite. Minced mice. Butler Solo, you know me so well. Did I miss anything? No? Okay, no, I didn't miss anything in here. Um. Yes? Butler Solo, don't tell me you're losing the keys, too. Oh. Rude? Is this your new game attack? Oh. Somebody needs to be having a talk with this poltergeist. You know how many starving kids in Africa there are and you're just throwing food at me? First. I'd look Ooh. for a canvas. Not just any canvas. 
Uh-oh. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Um... Can you run that by me one one more time, please? Ooh. Oh. Guess we're back here? Hmm. Ooh, nice journal. Nice empty turn oh cool guess it's like the collectibles in the game mm -hmm. I can dig it <gasps> my chair somebody took my chair is this a note from the thief deep breaths remember you're a professional it's just the first few strokes then you're over the hump what's so hard about it I feel like this is the same letter they give to, you know, amateur models before they start porn. Hmm. Can I get in here yet? Oh, no. Well, alrighty then. Um. Um, so what do you guys think of my painting, huh? Um, I call it Spaghetti Mingo. Huh? Oh. Uh, ah, they're each their own drawer. Ew. Guess it really needed that sound effect. Thanks for joining me for part one of Layers of Fear. I hope you all had a great time and hope to see you again in the next one. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below.